Don't worry, you sit down. Let's, let's go. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was me. Oh, 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 what are y'all fighting? Oh, oh, I promise you. That was actually a rock. Nah, that was rock. Grab a spray can. You played on the rock. Look at his face. 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 I want the same equal treatment I get. There you go. No, grab the spray bro, can. I don't smell it. I don't smell it, bro. Right up here. There on, you go, Ty. Right. 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 I don't smell it, bro. Oh, bro, it's more than each other. Why are you getting so defensive? Why you getting so defensive? Let's get into this, man. Bro, you made the world fucking vibrate like an earthquake. Bro, look at the rock face, bro. You actually part of it. No, bro, I actually joke. You're like, oh, see, it's not, bro. Come on. You got me convinced. Well, it's a 30 minute video, so maybe I can write it. This. Yeah, let's get, get it. Black Lives Matter. Oh, so Black Lives Matter? Pose, he says. Whoa, all right. I don't know about Ooh. this. All right, let's get to this. I don't know about this. Oh, he's like, get it on us. Oh, oh, he's 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 Welcome to Informer State TV. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. I absolutely appreciate it. I did a YouTube video, a commentary on Beyonce during the halftime of the Super Bowl. It was one of the most evil things I've seen happen in a public way. And I received a phone call from the Black Student Union at Trade Chat College here in Los Angeles wanting to talk with me about my YouTube video I have with me tonight Andre Shirley, also Michelle Watson is here, and we want to have an open and honest discussion about Beyonce and the whole race issue. Andre goes to school at Trade Chat, and Michelle is a community activist. Do you work with Black Lives Matter or, or the Black Student Union, or both? Both. Both? Both, and also the Los Angeles Black Workers Center. Oh, okay. What do you guys disagree with me about? Let's go down the list. <laughs> well, let's start off with how you described Beyonce and her performance. When you Pause. said that no. white people should have gotten up and walked away. Why? Why is that a problem? Race relations is something that needs to be talked about. It needs to be addressed. It has held this country back and held my people back for far too long. And until we can, as a society, sit down and understand what's plaguing us, we will never be able to move forward, ever. But she wasn't talking about it at the, at the uh, football game. No, she, she was she did, bringing uh, attention to the fact that there is lack of value on but, black lives But most America. people, most people, when they go to the Super Bowl, they're taking their families, their kids are with them. Yes. They want to go there and just have fun. They don't yes. want to hear black people complaining about so-called racism at a football game. So called If Beyonce racism. wanted to talk about it, she should have called together a meeting and said, hey, I'd like to bring everybody together and let's have a discussion about uh, so-called racism in America. Racism How is think? not private. We asked for this I'm conversation. Sorry. How many times have we asked for a conversation about race, race relations, I, I have a dream me that one day my children will be judged by the content well, of the black people talking about racism for 50 years or so. Harriet Tubman have to constantly go back before a conversation. We are at a point in society where us as young people, we're tired of seeing it. See we're what? tired of hearing. I'm tired of walking down the street in my hoodie and being afraid because I just saw a police officer. Not being afraid because there's some people down on the corner that I don't know. Not being afraid because... Which one would make y'all more afraid? The police. Of the person. corner, the hoodie? Walking at night with the police. Or a random dude on the corner. On the corner. Yeah, I see. Oh, he's never scared me. Yeah, I'm worried about that. Bro, I know I'm not doing nothing wrong, so I'm yeah. not afraid. <laughs> I, 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 if you don't give him a reason, why is he always with the police? Cause I, I know I can't 
up that bit at the police, but I got up that bit at the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too good at that. Come on, let, let him go, right, bro. Let's, let's get back into this. We cut that part out. Our neighbor's always in his garage. I don't know what he's doing. He's but being afraid because the people who are charged to protect and serve my life, people who are taking my tax dollars to have a job to protect and so serve my life. So tell me about life. Beyonce. Let me ask you about Beyonce. Beyonce is... 34 years old. Yes. She's married. Yes. She has a daughter. Yes. And it's first of all, she out doing this booty dance and half naked, uh, naked, dressed in black, looking like a thug. Is that a good example for, wow. and I'll ask you this, Michelle, is that a good example for other young girls? And should a married mother act that way in public? Beyonce is a woman and women have sexuality and femininity, right? And so that's where the style comes from. If if it's okay with her husband, uh, then it's, it's no one should ever have anything to say. Is she a good example for other, yes. other young girls to see an older woman acting that way? Yes. That is a good example? Yes, because that's not their status. They know they're you are a, from a baby, a child, a little girl, a teenager, they're not a woman. Right. Um, and they know that. But just because they see a woman in its full manifestation doesn't mean that it'll negatively affect them. Would you want your mother out doing the hoochie mama dance, half naked, <laughs> dressed in black, where the world is looking at her? Everyone is entitled to a good time. <laughs> no. But would you want your mother to do that? I would. <laughs> Hold on a minute. We you want your mother to do that. To have fun in a black dress no, you're and not. on national television? Half naked doing the hoochie mama dance. <laughs> yes, it was not half naked. Yes, you were. But what, you didn't answer the question. Would you want your mother doing that? Depends on how old she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so, in my opinion, so, hey. So would you want your 34-year-old mother doing that? Why not? Like I said, everyone is entitled to their expression of themselves. Is that a She's yes not no? just yes. It's a yes. That's a yes. It's a yes. You will want your mother doing that. It's a yeah. My thirty-four-year-old mother. Yes. <laughs> it's in the self-expression. Uh, what is it that she's trying to express? She's trying to express, for one, uh, the powerfulness of the black woman and um, the black movement. But that's and not how power she's in to go out and, and hoochie mama dance. <laughs> that's no power in there. That's a weakness. What is it? Women are doing dance? that in, in bars and clubs every day and night. Don't you think? Showing one's physical beauty dance is a weakness. Is a part of art. But not half naked in the public. Let me ask this. Beyonce uh, promoted Black Lives Matter. We all know that Black Lives Matter is an agitated, evil group of people who <laughs> can care less about black people. We do not. She all also, know that. let me finish, and then I'll let you that respond. That <laughs> she also promoted. Hold on, hold on. I'll let you respond. She also promoted the Black Panther Party. And we know that Black Panthers uh, uh, promoted killing cops and they killed at least two police officers that I'm aware of. And in Chicago, black people were afraid of the Black Panthers during those days because they were so radical. She also promoted Malcolm X uh, at a Super Bowl game. And you guys are okay with that, right? Yes. Okay, so yes. let me ask this then. Next year, I'm asking the KKK to go <laughs> and perform a cross burning, dressed in hoods, white sheets and hoods at the Super Bowl uh, halftime. Are you okay with that too? We live in America where you have freedom of speech. If that's the idiocracy you want to promote, then. So you would be you okay with that, right? Do that. I, I would personally be a part of the crowd that's protesting it. As right. you said, but white people should have gotten bro. up and walked out on like Beyonce it, and Kendrick like Lamar's just, performances. No. I would be that him. black yeah. person no, that would you don't make bring point. that he protest make to your front all, door bro. and Why? ask like you Why? how, how, if a black person could you promote an organization that judged your ancestors on the color of their skin and not the content of their character, never even asked them a simple question, but because they were because solely they black, wish. put them in chains I, and make yeah, them I, work for the field. Right? And the KKK didn't do that. Group. The KKK is a terrorist group and it's the longest standing and terrorist so group in Los Angeles. Black Lives Matter is not a terrorist group. So let me ask. Black Lives Matter is simply an affirmation to black people that we matter because we don't see it enough in our community. Nobody tells us 
not even our parents sometimes that we matter. So when we say black lives matter, it's not saying that you don't matter. It's not saying that we matter more than somebody else. It's saying that we matter and I can tell myself that I matter just like I can tell myself that I'm beautiful, right? Be to affirm it to myself. So is that a no about the KKK performing? <laughs> You wouldn't support that. Okay, first of all, let me get this straight. So you said the Black Panthers had people scared in Chicago, right? They had let me. They had you guys people scared to question. sell drugs in the neighborhood. They had people question, scared so, to no, prostitute women in that. the hood. The Black Panthers gave out. They started the free meal program. They started WIC Wait, program, yes. which the which the government has Black started to take over because they fed yeah. communities, right? And so when you have the KKK who started things like Halloween, where they dress up in masks and go firebomb houses, black houses yes. where they they hang people from black trees, walk. have parties with black people hanging from trees like strange fruit. If you've ever touched up on your black history, but you have these KKK turn terrorist oh, yeah. organization groups that have tormented black people for years, African people for years, but they are not labeled as a as a terrorist group. So then you have a so, black group emerging from so the community called know. Black Lives Matter. And know. now we have to be a terrorist group and we're yeah. here to rebuild the community to hit uh, the capitalist white supreme white supremacist society right in its face and stop it and say hey this is not right. Okay, so let me let me go back to the question: Is that a no for the KKK performing next year? Only if you're on the cross. I'm sorry. Only if you're on the cross. Oh, I'm, I'm on the cross. Yeah. And then you'll be okay with it. Yeah. Why are you so mean? Wow. I'm not mean. Why would you want to put me on the cross because we disagree? Because Where's your love in that? I want Where's your love for Trayvon Martin, who didn't even do anything? Where's your love for Ezel Ford? For Let Where me ask you this. Omar hold on, hold on. You said that Black Lives Matter make black people feel <laughs> worthy and beautiful? No, I didn't say we make people feel. I said is it, it is a positive affirmation to ourselves. They it's, affirm you? Yes. And what do they affirm about you? It affirms my being and the positivity in my being and the purpose in my being. That you didn't feel that black way prior to Black, black, black Lives Matter? You did not feel that way? No. Why not? Because the, the way that society is set up, it makes me feel that as a woman, there, there are things that I shouldn't have. There's a specific way that I should act. And that because I'm black, my chances of everything is significantly lowered. So your parents did not make you feel worthy while raising you? They told me I was beautiful. And, and they they told me I was you. smart. You they told me them? I was important. But did yes, believe I believe them. them but so why do you need black when, lives matter? Because the way that you are that. treated and what you are told are two different things. My mom told me I was beautiful now and I was smart. But when I go into society, they don't see that beauty. They don't see that who intellect. See society. Just who, because who I'm who black. Who are you referring to in society? I'm referring to the structure. Are you the talking way about the whole white people, black people and white people and others? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about white people? I'm not talking about a person. I'm not talking about a person. Not about a person. Not about a person. But somebody has to be the system that you're referring it's a to. <laughs> we have to who understand are you that it's to? not a people. But who are you re thinking? And who is thinking? I'm referring to the government. Who is thinking this way? The people who wrote our laws. Who is that? Are you talking about white people, black people, Mexican, or them all? White people. This, you talking about white Mr. people? Mr. Peterson, if I Hold may. on a minute. Hold on. I'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you what you're looking for, huh? No, are you talking about white people? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. talking about anyone who wants or feeds into white supremacy in the in this structure. So you're talking anybody, about anybody, whether they be white, black, black and, Asian, uh, Latino, whoever. Oh, okay. If you agree with this white capitalist, white supremacist structure, then okay, uh, no. that's for you. But if you don't agree, because there's a variety yes. of all the races who don't agree, so as not. do agree. Oh, okay. So Andre, you wanted to say something? Go ahead. Yes, um, I wanted to say that. I don't think it's a people. It seems to be a majority of people that have this racist thinking that I must keep this race oppressed so that I can stay superior. Although, I mean, our history do show. Who are you referring to now? I, I'm, I'm telling you that it's a thinking that's and in society. And who is doing this thinking? It, it's, been, it's been the Caucasian race for No, the white ages. race is, is holding you back. I, no one's holding me back because the I create my own. discriminated against you because of my yes. race. Yes, it, it's so, and they have set up a system to where they don't have to discriminate, but us they have a system that does it. 
Where's my proof? Yeah. The fact that as a young black man growing up in a society, my parents had to tell me that I had to do things four times better than the Caucasian person just to survive in this country. So your but parents being, told you that? Hold on. But me being a person that's objective and I can I can see both sides of the coin, I go into society, I do the same thing as my fellow classmates, yet I realize that I do have to do more to get in the society. The fact that before I go on the job interview, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair because my texture of hair is not what America deems job appropriate. So I have to go and cut my hair, although I believe that this is where my strength is because I am the only person on this earth that has this kind of hair that can have any hairstyle without doing anything. Do you believe your hair is your strength? My, all of this is my strength. That I have strength in here that I can't even contain. Blood and blood. I think that is a reason why we have <laughs> this issue with everything black people do. It's called a protest and outrage. It's because we are passionate people. Let, no, you're very angry people. Oh, <laughs> are you angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm I was, wanted to ask I was, you, what is your nationality? Uh, I was angry like you people at one point. <laughs> I'm not but, angry. But I was That's able to angry. overcome it, and I realized that I had been lied to. You, you guys, most black people are so angry, you're at a point now that no race like you. Okay. Uh, yeah, just a white I, race. Isn't that right? Say you, it's like, not just a white mean, race. Is it Hispanic? Is it Hispanic? Is it Is it Hispanic? Is it Hispanic? Is it Hispanic? I mean, constantly uh, being told that we're less than, no, yet you go and do, get Botox and tan and salons and okay. all this to look like Andre. this. You have and to your hair. The... You can't shake your hair to get Andre. rocks, Andre. but we're Andre. ugly. Andre. I'm just saying, we would have a reason to be. So let me ask, how do you feel knowing that most races do not like black people now because they're fed up with your bullying. They're fed up with your bullying. <laughs> he a troll. Uh, yeah. You're turning off he most how to pick people. A boy, like, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I, like I would have to disagree with you on that statement. That's what we're going to do. I hear from them all the time. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm trying to hear his question, bro. I'm sorry. I was too people. Weird. How do you feel about that, Andrew? I would have to disagree with you on that. Bullying. Most races do not like black people now because they're fed up with your bullying. They're mm -hmm. fed up with your complaining, complaining and blaming and doing all that. You're turning off most people. How do you feel about that, Andrew? I would have to disagree with you on that statement, seeing that the- uh, No, I hear from them all the time. Okay, hold on, hmm. hold on. Let, let me get my point across. You hear from them, but I see them, and I think actions are a lot better than words. When I see <coughs> black and brown doing a, a, a march on Washington, that that's race relations. Well, those, right there. That's those radical, angry, that's, that's angry. Right. Uh, when I see Asian people standing outside the White House marching with Black Lives Matter, yes, <laughs> yes. When I see people of other cultures going, you know what? See, this is what we have to do as a people. We have to wake up. What do you? We want? gotta stop listening what is it to that this you rhetoric want? that's in the media. Michelle, what do you? What do you people want? What do people. I want? Michelle, when you say you people, what do you mean? The complaining black people, uh, <laughs> blaming others for the failure of their parents and their lives. What the uh, blaming <laughs> others for whatever it is you're complaining about. What is it exactly do you want from white people? Mm. That's crazy. That's a great question. That is a great question. Dang. First of all, I'm just going to take a breath. And... I'm trying to find out what want, you want. What's your nationality? American. Are you white? I'm black American. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> oh, you do? And why, why do you think that? Why do you um, think that? Can we pause for a second? Uh, because you're going to separate yourself from <laughs> Why did she call him white? Because he disagreed with her. Did you beat that? They, they always, why did they always say, say you're like, not, not black? Like, she, she, yeah, why does she change the rhetoric? Do that? Yeah. Yo, you're not black if you did. If you're not like pro-black, bro, but then you're like anti-black. You can still be pro-black without being like them, bro. Yeah, let me say not pro-black. What's the word I'm like? Like, I mean, like very pro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, but you can still be very pro-black. Yeah, you can support. Like, yeah, what I'm saying, bro. Like, she said. But if you go against that, then you're anti-black. Or you're 
couple times. Bro, oh lord, he messed the head up with that question. You messed my head up. I hate, I hate. What that. do you want from white people, Todd? I don't know. Me <laughs> four acres in a mule. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Dude, I, I want just I'm equal treatment, man. That's yeah, all I want. I'm, I'm gonna do something with that. Uh, can I ask you something before you press? Is there any point that the Michelle or Andre said anything that they said that you'd be like, you know what? I agree with that. Oh, I mean, they just they, they speaking, made some good points. They speaking like we victims, bro. Mm. Yeah, like I just don't agree with that I mean, victim but, of mentality. I mean, now we're not victims, but I mean, you know, bro. But this is this is recent. No, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, what 2015? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like this is. But I feel people like, have to stop complaining now. But over time, you can't, you can't say why y'all did this to me. They didn't do that. It was they. They didn't do that. Yeah, personally. yeah, that was the, yeah. And you wasn't in change personally. Yeah, so I can't. So be no, mad yeah, somebody. I can't. No, I can't be mad. You can't your daddy did to my daddy. No, yeah, we can't. How y'all feel about when he said the? Uh, working four times harder. Like a black man has okay, to work. Okay, I have times. been taught that before. Yeah, I've been, like, I've been do you, taught you that. Do you find the accuracy yeah, in that? I, I well, I mean, that. based I can, on like I can, your. I can see where that comes like, from. Yeah, like, based. Because, you know, they might have more, they might have connections, you know, mm. a lot of people. But, you know, even still, like, I don't feel like I'm a victim. Uh, like, I bro, I they don't just know keep me. speaking like we victims. Like, mm. oh, I'm maybe I'm too. Yeah, like, oh, like they making it sound like it's just like poor us black people. Like, stop boo fucking hooing, bro. Uh, because you seem to separate yourself from from <laughs> us. Should I say? In but it's on the other side of way? it. Um, in the ways that you specified uh, thus far. Meaning what? Tell me. Give me an example and tell me what you mean. You how you mean? How do? What do you people, people want from white people? people? Meaning that I'm like not with yourself. you. Oh, okay. It's I got just y'all by yourself. <laughs> let right? me let me explain why I do that. What you don't know is that there are two realities in life. Mm -hmm. One is that of good, and one is that of evil. And now that I've been able to overcome evil, I don't identify with angry evil black people i identify <laughs> with other uh, blacks and others who are on the side of good and so that's why i say you people because i have to divide myself or separate myself from evil and go along with <laughs> good evil. so that's why i do that what is it that makes us evil, yeah, he's I'm so sorry, so you're, evil. Anger, you're blaming others for your problems your lack of love and respect, respect for yourself and others. Okay, well, um, that's another reason why I wanted to come on the show because is that has been a misrepresentation, right? We're not angry, uh, we're not pointing the finger. But you uh, are blaming actually... white people for your downfall. No, we're not blaming white people for our downfall. What? Basically, we're just saying when they when the so-called emancipation population was passed, passed a certain system was also set in place to make sure so black people want? didn't make it that far. What do you want that's at them. this point? I want race to be taken off applications. Why? What does that have to do with anything? I want, I want to I stop seeing that. my fellow that's a good one. young that's people a good one. being you shot, to... gunned down in the streets for carrying a can of tea and a bottle of but they do have the I don't home. identify. I, I want Which police to stop important. using illegal chokeholds to take people down and then completely getting off of it. I want our politicians and our elected officials to see the people that march in these streets that across this nation that saying, wait, no, this is wrong. I want people to do their jobs. I want to walk down the street yeah. and know that I'm safe. You've been brainwashed. So, no, Check this out. it's that not that we want want something yeah. from white people, right? What do you want? We want to see, first of all, this fact is, yes, in LA, right? Yes, in Chicago, that if you're black, you 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 basically will be persecuted. Who are you referring to? I'm referring to anyone. Everyone who, who looks down upon black people, right? Who who feels that if you have darker skin, that you have a, a, a lower have status. Have you been discriminated against? Yes. By who? By white people. What did they do to you? Tell me what happened to you. They told me that I needed to wear my hair a certain way in order to be groomed. Who told you that? All right, a supervisor. At your job? Yeah, at a previous job. At a what? A previous job, I don't work there. Anymore. So you were working at this company and you went in, you applied for the job, and you, at the time that you were applying for the job, you told them, if, okay, if you pay me X amount of dollars, I will come every day and I will follow your rules, and you took the job, right? <laughs> Is that right? Okay. They can't hear you. They can't hear you, Michelle. Come on. So, we, you agreed to do that job and follow their standards, their rules. You didn't mean it? Dang. 
Um, can yes, I, ask why I did. Her but hair culture is you, you did everybody has different culture. So you meant to follow the rules. Did you know about the hair deal before taking the job? No, uh, they say right. They, they said groomed what? means groomed means you got up and you touched, you did your hair, you did your face. You're aware of your whole appearance, right? Right. And so you went in there with what an afro or something? What you did? What you going on? With a ponytail, with the afro, and a little bang in the front. Oh, uh, and they <laughs> said no, you can't wear that ha hairstyle. They said it's just not as it doesn't look professional, right. and they they just made a recommendation, but they didn't say all oh, our rules prohibit you. But they said, oh look, I just want to make a nice recommendation. Right, okay. and you didn't. Did they have a right to make that recommendation? No, they didn't have a right. Did they? Hey, Bob, the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did she say the bang with the puff with the puff in the back? Yes. Puff with the little. Yeah. You know that little, that little twist that come around. You know the little lock that they have right there. Okay, but she said the the bang with the big puff. No, not a big puff. You know the butt, the puff, puff, the big uh -huh. puff, with the one little strain. The, the, the one little strain. You know you lock it. Oh my god! I don't think that's that bad. Yeah, that's not that bad. I thought she said the bang. Now the bang is a lot. Now, but you got to straighten it to bang. To have a bang, yeah, you got to straighten it. Groomed if she had okay, the bang. okay, yeah. okay. Well, that's not that. Well, she'd have been groomed. They, 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 How y'all feel about that? Yeah, you did it. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, hair probably. But to his point, straight. if you knew that. I mean. But, like, yeah. as long as she wasn't looking like crazy. You know? I see his point because. Because it's supposed to have her. She, uh -huh. she, they can tell like, a white so woman if she came in there with her hair off us, that's unprofessional too. So, you know, I mean, I'm saying, like, if she came in there. Didn't do anything to her hair. She didn't grow me. But she's saying she did do something to her. Like for her to put in the puff, what did she yeah, did yeah, grow me? So yeah. how do y'all feel about? And like, let's say like no dreadlocks on the job. Like we don't like dreadlocks. Well, then, I mean that's a rule. I mean I see what you oh, saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I mean yeah, you signed up for that. I, 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 yeah. Is that a fair rule? But I mean, nah, that's not. I don't think that's fair. I mean, but I mean if that's what your qualifications. Can I, can I pose is, another? Can I pose another question? Let's say we all go to the club, right? Right, and there's certain dress codes, like right, like a no, yeah. no white t-shirts, no earrings, yeah. no uh, rips you and can't jeans. Be mad. Uh, I mean, no. If you want to enter their place of establishment, yeah, yeah. you have is to that, abide by their we rules. Didn't, we didn't yeah. that that I'm at, yeah, I know, I know. Well, I'm saying, is that a fair rule? Yes, you do go to the club. Yeah, they're, they're, they're allowing yeah. you to, and black to inhabit their space. Yeah. Yeah. They're allowing you, so yeah. they don't want you to inhabit their space. Yeah. That's like things. that's like they make you wear uh, a private at a pop school. You gotta wear a uniform. Yeah, that's like that's like that's school. like you go into somebody's house. They say take your shoes off. Yeah. But, yeah. but to me, that is a, a wild rule. I mean, because we is see that rule uh, geared to a certain black people walk type. out with the black team and the white team, man. They're doing their bad they just because we, um, you know, what but we saying? know about the type of niggas. The way we are in also, I mean, like, it, could be, like, it could be, but it also could be. That could be wearing a white tee. You know, that's a good guy. Well, also, it could be some fucking <laughs> trade babies, too. Yeah, it could be them, too. We don't, we don't, we don't want no trouble with them. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I guess, yeah, if it's. Your rules, it's your rules. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you, if you want to enter the club. You can't argue that. Let him ride, man. Let him ride, man. Our owner wasn't, nobody owned the company. Killer watch us. Somebody have to own the company. Nobody, it wasn't a company. These people can't communicate. We, these are the wrong folks up here. Oh, wow. I'm not getting the real answers or anything. <laughs> um, I think you guys you get are very good. Excuse me, sir. You can guys are not even communicating. I thought this was going to be not like that. my intelligence <clears throat> while I'm sitting right in front of you. You asked me for clear answers. I gave you clear answers. I thought this you was going to have you a guys discussion. Not even discuss. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get some understanding to what is wrong and what we can do about the problem, but you guys won't really. Okay, I can tell you, you're not focusing on the discussion You're focusing on the problem, but you're not focusing on the solution, right? right? And we'll get to and that. you want to know what the solution would be? No, we need to find out what is the problem. Have you been discriminated against? Who discriminated against you and why? I've been discriminated well, it, against. I've been told it was the that policy that allowed the recommendation to even come in. So it's policies that are created that people have to go by that perpetrate discrimination was this with a private business that you were working no for it was not the pr was private it a government business. business yes it was and so the government rules are you can wear your hair any kind of way you want to as long as it's decent and so will you just your supervisor approach you about your hair once you got this job be more uh, specific in your in you your said question. you got this job and you did you quit the job or you got fired um, I quit. You quit. And you quit because of they they recommend a different hairstyle. Uh, no, that's not the reason why I quit. Why did you quit? Uh, because I felt that I wanted more fulfilling work. So where's the racism in that? Then? You quit because you were not fulfilled. 
you said that was an example of you being discriminated against. Right, but now that's just saying, something that black people on a daily basis, we fulfilled. have to work through. So I have to work uh, through that, right? So I have to conform to that. So was but it racism ultimately, or you want to be fulfilled? Mm. Mr. Peterson? Wait, it was an instance on the job. <laughs> it wasn't the, the final conclusion on the job. So you quit because you wanted to be fulfilled, not because of discrimination about your hair. What? But you just said that was... You a problem. But it had nothing to do with racism. You was not fulfilled. Why did you try to make that into racism? But it's discrimination that we face, that all black people face on a daily basis, but that you, we have to work through because it's like, okay, hey, am I going to tell them... Fuck you, you. I'm gonna wear my hair the way I want to, or am I gonna work this out to make sure that I can get a Because you have not given me an example of you being discriminated Mm -hmm. against. I asked for an example. Both of you are running around crying racism. I'm not crying. Yeah, you haven't given me an example. I didn't say racism. I said discrimination. You haven't given me an example. You're being discriminated against. Okay. Have you been discriminated against? Yes, I have been discriminated. And who discriminated against you? An employer discriminated against me. They asked me to cut my hair. Was it a white man or a, a white this person? This was a Caucasian people? female. Okay, and so a private job? No. Private this f- is a public sector job. Okay, so you filled out the application. I filled out the application. And you said on the app that I will follow the rules if that you I pay me X amount of dollars. Yes. And did you have the afro at the time? Yes, I have my afro at the time. And they still hired you? And they hired And me. so you went in and they said what to you? This that, is a white female boss, right? Yes. Okay. After and this After is a government doing a job. Great job. And so you go into the office, she call you in. Yes. And she says what to you about your hair? She told me that I had to cut my hair, that my hair had gotten too long and looked unmanaged. Oh, okay. And what's wrong with that? A lot is wrong with that. Why? Why don't you want to look you I wouldn't hire you with the hair look like that. Yeah. <laughs> It's not, it doesn't That's look my natural hair texture. It doesn't look professional. You don't have to say, let's yeah, go. I'm not for this. It doesn't look professional. Oh. Hey, now, we're getting. Really. I'm holding. Yeah, no, no, we're getting. Right. Right. Is that tiny? Now, you just nah. have to be in there. Yeah, what's wrong with it? I'm talking about. Not T.I. time? No. Yes, and that's his name off of uh, Friday? No, it's Are you her boss? Hey, man, back him up. Back him up. Why are you pushing her? Oh, God. I'm not that. I'm Yeah, run back, bro. Why is she bugging around? You're traumatizing them. Come on. Traumatizing them. Wow. Yeah, expect it, though. Google me. My name is Jasmine Abdullah. I just sat here. Are you her boss or something? No, it's about black why are you, love. Why are you it's pushing her around? You see how they're 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 doing this because you're hurting. They're hurting them. Why are you pushing they're hurting them? Around? And you know they you're, don't know what to you're, say. You're, 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 you're boxing. Right you're, you're, you're boxing you know, everyone. No, this is not why are you hurting? But I love you and I feel sorry. They want to leave. I feel really bad for you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You got a lot of self hate. Stop pushing her around. And it and it radiates. But you got a lot of self hate. Don't let that lady push you around. No lady push me around because I feel more. It's about love, right? I feel attacked. He's saying he's a but I, I, I fight. I, 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 well, they were losing bad. Yeah, they had to put them off. Honestly, I think that was the best decision for her to make. I think it was the best decision for her to make because she is younger than I. I'm sorry? She is younger than I. Anyway, I appreciate you coming, Andrew. I mean, Andre. <laughs> Andre Shirley. Hey, yo. He a troll. Andre Shirley. He a troll. He said, I said, you come to Andrew. I mean, Andre. <laughs> nah, hey, man, he wrong for that, bro. He came for Andrew. Hey, he wrong for that one. One more time. Look at that shit, Shirley. Stop it, go ahead. I think it was the best decision for her to make because she is younger than I. I'm sorry? She is younger than I. Anyway, I appreciate you coming, Andrew. I mean, Andre. Andre Shirley. Hopefully this inspired some black youth to actually get up and let their voices be heard. Apparently, society will not understand if we don't just All right, come thank you, buddy. Thank you. Give me a hand. Thank you. No appreciate problem, you coming. Bro. All right, thank you.
Can we change conversation? He said, the ability to be openly racist in public is one of, without consequence, it's one of my black privileges. <laughs> so black men in America, no race is holding me back. We will never succeed as a nation until we can come together. The word racism has that. lost its meaning in today's time. We're here to rebuild the community. Burns down community. <laughs> the anger when he made her connect the dots and and that made her realize she wasn't discriminated against had me choking. Mm -hmm. I'm an African from Ghana. It's actually ethical hey. and professionally normal when our boss instructs us, instructs the way we look for job hey. appropriation with seek. Hey. We cut our hairs and our and beards. The BLM movement has been so obsessed and brainwashed that they see everything as a discrimination hey. plot against them. Ghana got the smartest niggas in Africa. I don't want to hear nothing else. I have God, been discriminated what? against. What? I have been told God. to get a haircut. Oh, These guys are so desperate to keep racism alive, it's sickening. All right. All right. Ah. Wow. I was, bro, I went to a, a private, historically black high school, and like my hair right now at this length was too high. Like it had to be wave, it had to be wave length because really? it was unprofessional. Yeah. yeah. So and that was an all black high school. Like this was far too high. They were going to cut my hair. Yeah, facial hair that has to go. No I mean, facial hair. Can't, can't, no can't you not have that? Uh, Miss B was doing that. Yeah, uh, Miss B. Can't have that military. 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 Nobody. Well, you can have more than that. You can have a little yeah. bit. It can't cover your ear in the military. No earrings were allowed. You know what I'm saying, but tattoos rules, can't be shown. Bro. Like that's just rules. So and that was a black. Guy. That was a bad point, but I feel like they did hold that on, oh, man. I'm low key still. <laughs> What, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all feel like they held down, bro? No, like, uh, no. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. He, they, I ain't gonna lie. He, I think they. He pulled, like the she pulled him off the show. Yeah, that's horrible. Because bro. like he was embarrassed, and then even the woman was like, you know, they don't know what they like. It was I ain't gonna lie. He embarrassed them. Yeah. And I, it was secondhand embarrassment for me because I'm like, I wish he could have got somebody like somebody that was actually intelligent. Yeah, somebody who, who I ain't gonna say that said a lot, but somebody who was farther. Okay, you're even right, if right. they, yeah, even if they, they was even if they had that stance, even if they had, I wish he would have got somebody more experienced. Yeah, who could have. Better. Yeah. Even if they got Dr. Mark like, Johnson, who uh, I was discriminated against. All right, what happened? Him. Oh, they said my hair was unprofessional. We need so. to get him and Dr. Umar in the room. Yeah, oh, I know who I'm rocking with. Him, Dr. Umar, him. and Charleston Whoa. in the room. We gonna see if right. Dr. Umar. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I feel bad for him, honestly. Relax. Yeah. Now, Dr. Umar is so funny, bro. I remember this one. This dude cool. went to Dr. Umar's like he was preaching or something like that. And he had went up to Dr. Umar. It was supposed to be a prank with a white girl on his background. Oh, that was Jid. Was that Oh, that was Jid. Y'all see that, bro? Yeah. Bro, Jid went to Dr. Umar with a white girl on his background. What he do? Not trust black men who date non-black men. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. Next king, come on up. How we doing? How we doing? One love. Thanks for coming out. What's the name? My girl, she couldn't make it here, but she loves you. She loves you. <laughs> I'm against you. He just pulled out a white girlfriend over. We gonna get it. He just pulled out a white girlfriend. I'm trying to take over. I'm trying to take over. Brother, how you got on African clothes with a white bunny, bro? I, I'm, a, I'm a conqueror now. I'm the conqueror. It's snow bunny season. <laughs> I feel like that is snow bunny season. Like I'm going hunting. I'm just going hunting. Thank you, Dr. Umar, for everything. Hey, but Dr. Umar, I need a favor, though. I tried to hire you. Oh, 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 bro, you can let the brother man go. Oh, my bad, my bad. Relax, I, got, relax, I got excited. Relax. I got excited. Relax. I tried to get an interview with you, mm -hmm. and I had sent $500. I mean, you got the snow bunny thing. I don't know if I want to do the interview. Brother, you're not living the cold. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Nice. G was Joseph. Him and Joseph. Like, don't want no equality. Some black people don't want equality. What they want then? G had beef with him. Segregation. They, yeah, that's bro, I don't understand like, why they don't just do want they to want? integrate into society. <laughs> what do they want? This is, this is supposed to be one of the most culturally diverse places in the world and like some people act like it's just so wrong yeah. to integrate into society with other people. What do they want? What do they want? I'm a minority <laughs> group in a, in a nation where there's where you're one of the smaller Just kidding guys, just kidding. You have to like, you yeah. have to, you have to, what's the word I'm looking for? You have Compared to, to assimilate. Yeah. Like you don't uh, have to lose your culture in order to interact with other people, but yeah. you, know, at least you gotta, you gotta get with, you gotta adapt, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> Like, get with the times, or you're gonna get left. And some people act like that's just such a, a foreign concept. Yeah. Cause I mean, even people, are, we're, we're pretty young guys, and we know people that's probably just like those white people. Yeah, I don't really like what like, I don't say get why they do like that, because they can have the same opportunities, bro. So it's like. I've seen something somewhere it's where there was down. like generational hate that was you know, taught to hate. Well, I was for sure. Well, wow. it's, no, it's, it's pretty crazy, crazy, man. Gosh. Can't it's lie. true though. I, I, I've I seen something somewhere. Did we watch this video where it was like, we tell, um, uh, we preach that like the white people are enemies, but you're more likely to be harmed by someone that looks like you. That's true. 
This guy's was that not on here where we seen that? Uh, I seen that somewhere, and it was like they was like there's like it's like black people try to hate the other races, but you're more likely to be harmed by. So far, are black people brainwashed. Yes or no? I do think so. It's uh, all, all and everybody ain't. So I'm not. You can't say all. Black I'm not gonna say all, all black I'm people are brainwashed. Or some people that believe. But the victimhood mentality that oh, this is stacked against me. Are they brainwashed? That's brainwashed. Yes. It's not against you. Everything in life these days. You can become a millionaire for playing football. What's, what's Black Lives Matter? You can matter? become a millionaire for anything. Yeah. What's Black Lives Matter harmful for the black community? I agree. I do. I think so. They tried to unite black people against the police, saying that that's our enemy. They're just saying things like defund the police. I, and things that's like crazy, that. I think that's crazy to as hell. Defund the police? Like, black Lives Matter said that? Yes. yes. That was that's insane. They yeah, be saying they be saying, saying BLM ACAB. That means all cops are bastards. That's dumb. That's yeah. dumb to me. Yeah. That, to me. To, to me. That's police. dumb. To me. Mm. That's my opinion. But maybe it's just the media dumb. though, man. Because I mean, we do see a lot of black killings. Because like, because listen, it's white people that get killed by the bullies too. Let's use this man, logic. Let's, they just, it, bro. let's use the BLM logic. If the police that that have been on record doing bad things makes all police bad, then that means the black people that have went to jail for crimes no, so on yeah. record, all, everybody, all black people are bad. That's that exact same yeah. fucking logic. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think that shit's dumb. Oh. But that's just me. That's yeah, just me. That's, that's, just me. that's just me. That's a good ass point. Uh, because when good. you make generalized comments about any, it can be applied to anything. Yeah. Oh, that pit bull bit somebody. All pit bulls are bad. That's dumb. Well, they didn't make that's an assumption dumb. about that. Yes, that's an assumption. But if you live in reality, People have pit bulls that are the lovely dogs. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, bro. Like it's it's a dumb well, assumption. Man, what do y'all think out there that y'all let us know, man? That that we can do to um, help our um fellow well, he, black, black it, people. It's so crazy that he was saying that though, man. Uh, like all the stuff he was saying. He, like, he know who to bring on there. I do feel. I just feel so what like. Can we yeah, do I feel bad. I'm like, ah, I was. I had to help you people. I'm like, the moment yeah, they started no, talking. Like, yeah, yeah. What can we like, do to help these you? White people? people are keeping us down. Like, bro, why go through your life and believe that? Like, yeah. If you'd have got somebody far more like educated, even with the, they took that same stance, just far more educated that really could combat his. What you call it? No, I think they would still probably been over with. I don't bad. know. I think I think someone more intellectually yeah. uh, they made a better sound with actual experience of facts. discrimination and facts. could come with a better argument. They were saying bullshit. Yeah, only thing I can say. What is, about Trey Bond? Yes. I, I can see them the, using bro, the, what, up, what's that dude? shit called the uh, Malcolm X. Yes. <laughs> right, bro. He lost me with that. Yeah, as soon as he started doing that, yes. Beyonce, beautiful. <laughs> he loves Black Panther. Yeah, all right, bro. He I'm loves up. I'm up. Oh, man. All right, y'all. He said it because I fight. All righty. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts in the comments. How do y'all feel about Jesse? How do y'all feel about those two black people on the stage, man? Andre uh, How do y'all feel about us? And how do y'all feel about us, man? Andre. Uh, let us know. Hit us on Instagram. And, uh, send us for a great video.